So are you tired of generic e-commerce SEO tips? Well, I am too, and that's why I've invested over 30 hours into building the ultimate step-by-step -step SEO checklist for e-commerce. It's simple, just follow this checklist and Google's algorithms will fall in love with your e-commerce website. Let's begin. So number one, perform e-commerce keyword research. So I'll be straight up with you. Most e-commerce websites do keyword research dead wrong. And it's because they don't understand the five stages of customer awareness. So let's assume I work with a company that sells dark roast coffee. So in stage one, you're in the unaware stage, which has informational intent. And some long tail keywords at this stage would be how to make cold brew coffee, is coffee acidic, and does coffee go bad? And in this content, typically blog posts, you'd inform the prospect about dark roast and its benefits. Then two things can happen. You can push the searcher to another page on your website to educate them or get them to subscribe to your email list. However, 97% of searchers at this stage will leave your website without taking any action. But don't worry, all hope isn't lost. If you install Pixel on your website, you can retarget these visitors with more content marketing to push them deeper into your funnel. That brings me to stage number two, which is problem aware. So now the prospect understands the benefits of dark roast, and they might start searching for relevant keyword phrases like dark roast versus light roast, is French press good for dark roast coffee? And you'll need dedicated pages for these ideas since they have different search intent. And then some of your target audience will end up in the following stage, which is stage number three, which is solution aware. And the searcher is already sold on dark roast and now they're ready to pick a brand. These posts are perfect for creating brand awareness, which brings us to the next stage, number four, product aware. So the searcher is now evaluating your specific product against others in the market. And now to the final stage, which is number five, most aware. At this point, the prospect has their credit card and you need to close the deal. Now the question is, where do you start? So I recommend beginning with the end in mind. So start with stage five, which is most aware, and then work your way up the funnel. So the next question is, how do you actually find the right keywords? Well, use the following techniques. Number one, tap into existing keyword data. Go to Google Search Console and enter a top performing URL. Click new and create a query filter and enter the following rejects. And then just add these keywords to your database. Number two, reverse engineer your competitors. So open SEMrush's keyword gap tool and enter a top SEO competitor. Add a position filter to display only keywords where your competitor ranks in the top 10 and has a keyword difficulty below 49. Then scroll down and click on untapped. So these are keywords that your competitors are ranking for, but you aren't, and it's your responsibility to bridge this gap. Number three, find unknown keywords. TikTok, Reddit, and other platforms are gold mines for finding hidden keyword ideas. Search your topic and look for posts with user engagement. Then you can save the pages a PDF, open chat GPT, and enter this prompt. Now you'll have access to unique content ideas. Now let's move on to number two, which is conduct a technical SEO audit. So Screaming Frog SEO Spider is the best audit tool, and this tool will crawl your website and find countless technical SEO opportunities. Screaming Frog allows you to integrate Google Analytics, Google Search Console, Google PageSpeed Insights, and the Ahrefs APIs. And you need all of this data to perform a proper audit. Step number two is identify opportunities. Number one, crawl depth. So go to the crawl depth column and sort Z to A. Look for any page greater than three clicks deep into the site architecture. And that's because Google has a hard time crawling and indexing pages that are buried super deep in your architecture. And a quick way to resolve this issue is to leverage your site-wide navigation as many successful e-commerce websites do. Number two, internal link coverage. So go to the unique in-link section, look for pages with less than five internal links, and then look for relevant opportunities on your website to add internal links to these pages, assuming that the pages are high quality. And if you're struggling to find opportunities, it's often a sign that you need more SEO content. I'll get into this in a second. Number three, pages with poor SEO performance. So filter the GA, click, impressions, and Ahrefs referring domains columns to find these pages. And there are a few actions you can take on these pages. You can delete, which is best if a page is irrelevant, thin, outdated, or low quality. You can redirect. Since these pages have no positive metrics, redirection is only useful 
to eliminate keyword cannibalization. You can also consolidate, which is a solid option if there's some content worth salvaging. You can also optimize, which you can re-optimize the page if it's high quality, but it's been treated unfairly by Google's algorithms. And lastly, you can upgrade, which means you're gonna rebuild the page from scratch if you're targeting a qualified keyword, but the page is outdated or low quality. And some other technical SEO opportunities you'll also wanna tackle are number four, duplicate content. So go to SiteLine or run a crawl to identify duplicate content on your e-commerce website. Any duplication above 50% is worth investigating. Number five, schema markup. So schema helps search engines understand your pages better and allows you to get rich snippets in Google SERPs or search engine results pages. And these are some of the most commonly used schema in e-commerce. Now the good news is that ChatGPT has made schema markup a breeze. Just use this prompt and then it will spit out this markup and then all you have to do is just go and use this tool to test it. Once it passes, add it to the appropriate pages on your e-commerce website. And now number six, optimize your URL structure. So the number one quality of a perfect URL structure is relevance. Look at this example. You could remove the root domain and still know the page is about blue prom dresses. And an effective URL structure will also produce breadcrumbs which function as internal links. This makes crawlability and indexability more efficient for Google. And now e-commerce SEO tip number three is become obsessed with user experience. So go to the performance score in your Screaming Frog crawl and these are pages with poor loading speed. 40% of shoppers will abandon an e-commerce site if it takes more than three seconds to load. So use these techniques to upgrade the experience on your site. First, resize your images. Don't upload enormous images. They need to be big enough for a user to zoom in and to see the product. The next thing to do is compress your images. Use a tool like Optimizilla to compress the images so they load faster. And the final step is to convert your images to the fastest file type WebP. So technical SEO and UX is critical, but now it's time for the lead domino, which is number four, create epic SEO content. So there are four types of SEO content you should create for e-commerce. First, product category pages. So no web page is more important for e-commerce than your category pages, and these pages must give the user exactly what they want. This is not a place to write a dissertation about your products or your company. For example, look at the word count target for cowhide rugs. Rankability uses a median word count to eliminate outliers, and less is more when it comes to category pages. The second type of page is a product page. Only use product pages for SEO when there's evidence in Google, like cowhide rug cleaner. The SERPs confirm that it's wise to optimize a product page. The next type of content is blog content. So creating high quality content that targets informational keywords is critical for a few reasons. First is organic traffic plus brand awareness and these informational keywords can push the searcher deeper into your funnel. The next is topic authority. So creating quality content in your field of expertise helps Google understand your website's relevance. The next is linkability. So websites are likelier to link to helpful content, tools, or resources than pages with commercial intent like category pages. And this brings me to the final type of SEO content you should create, which is link bait. And this is content engineered to attract backlinks. Some examples are free tools, infographics, and statistics. I recommend using ChatGPT to help you brainstorm ideas. You can use a very simple prompt like this. And no SEO content strategy is complete without number five, perform on page SEO. So here's a weird SEO fact. Google can't read and objectively measure the quality of your content. If the algorithms can't read, then how do they actually measure quality? Well, user signals play a huge role, but what about pages without user signals because they're not ranked? Yet. Well, that's when natural language processing, or NLP for short, comes in. Google uses NLP to extract ideas or entities from your page to understand its relevance. Now, before I show you how to tap into NLP to create SEO content that Google loves, let's handle the basics. First, focus on keyword placement, not density. So place your target keyword in the URL, page title tag, meta description, H1, and first sentence. And just doing this alone will help you be 80% of websites. But but to beat the top dogs, you'll need to use NLP to build insanely relevant content. So enter your keyword into a content optimization tool like Rankability to see every topic your competitors cover. And the Rankability score is a simple measurement of relevance. In other words, 
How relevant is your page, the top competitors, for this keyword? Then it's your job to just cover as many relevant topics as possible. And don't worry about how often you mention a specific keyword phrase, in other words, keyword stuffing. Focus on brevity. More words don't equate to better SEO results. Number six, acquire customer reviews. So 91% of people aged 18 to 34 trust online reviews as much as recommendations from friends and family. Use these third-party review platforms to build trust. The first is Google, where you can go and create a free Google business profile, and then you can streamline your review collection with tools like NiceJob, BirdEye, and Podium. And if you're selling your product to Amazon, make it your mission to collect as many reviews as possible. And now number seven is get more backlinks. So backlinks are the most important ranking factor in Google. So here are a couple of my favorite link building strategies for e-commerce brands. First, build a personal brand. So look at how many backlinks Gary Vee has attracted. And a personal brand gives you access to backlink opportunities like interviews, responding to press inquiries, and being linked to because you're an expert in your field. Number two, write guest posts. So use the following search strings in Google to find opportunities. Then use a template like this for your guest post outreach. The next link building technique is to outsource your link building if you have the budget. And this is gonna free up so much time and that way you can focus on the higher impact activities in your business. So the one company that I do recommend for doing digital PR types of link building is digital.pr. And they're gonna get you some of the most powerful backlinks that you can pretty much get. And they're gonna do it because they're using a variety of different techniques. So obviously reactive PR with actually responding to trends and then also contributing as an expert as well on your behalf and helping you get links on really powerful websites. And they'll actually even build out dedicated link bait, like I mentioned earlier in this video, where they're actually gonna go out and promote that link bait to journalists and then you're gonna get links. So this is one of the best ways to build your website authority fast and to ensure that you're focusing on quality over quantity when it comes to link building. And these days, almost all of my focus is on getting the most powerful links possible. And one link can make a significant difference on your SEO performance. And so focus on quality over quantity. And if you have the budget, I highly recommend outsourcing to a company like digital.pr. And finally, watch the next video to see more of my proven link building techniques.